hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i'll be showing you how to configure the right server ip and port for your sox ip application so the very first thing you need to do is to open your sox ip application so once we are on the sox ip application you ensure to switch to premium server so on premium server we have what is known as the server ip and the port so this server ip and the port for us to have it we need to be connected to a free server and by connecting to a free server it means we need to touch the ground so i'm going to show you how to get the rightful server ip and port so the very first thing you have to do right now is you switch to free server so once you switch to free server so as you can see i already have a location which is pin one so let me say you haven't chosen a location yet so you just have to save this you click on start so you go back to settings um you click the crown Alright guys, so after clicking the crown, do we have um, USA, we have Brazil, or we have Germany, we have Canada, we have Spain, we have UK, we have France, we have Amsterdam, and you can see the various protocols. Some use TCP, WS, DNS, UTP, and many more. So guys, um, you can see the duration which is server last so in this case i went to spin one so you have to select spin one so after selecting spin one what you do is let's go to our browser and search for this website so on our browser i would like you to search api dot Airbus dot com slash IP so once you search this you are going to see your local IP address so we are not using the local IP address so what we are using here is we are using this ip address you see the country the country is spain the city is madrid so you just copy this you go back to your socks ip you launch the application so what you have to do now is you disconnect the socks ip go back to settings switch to premium server so guys on premium server you clear this we paste so um, the best ports which you can use we have port 80 port 443 and port 8080 so I always like going with port 8080 for my server IP So after inputting that, you switch to free server, you click save, and you connect. So this will help to stabilize the connection and avoid unnecessary disconnection. Hope you do enjoy this video. And if you do enjoy this video, please make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you.